Don't talk like one of them. You're not. Even if you'd like to be. To them, you're just a freak. Like me. Yeah. 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 TBT got a whole different swag with the style and panache that you wish you had. On another level that you never reach. People on my plane, we don't even speak. I exist everywhere from the corporate to the street. I ain't the police, but I stay on the beat. I stay on the rhyme, purple haze in my mind, no lie. Vision like an agent when I drive, cause when I'm up in the spot, they eyes stay good like they watch me win. I walk, they watch me win. I talk, they follow me win. I move, when I point, they do. I'm not more say, but I'm so cool. Like I said, I'm abstract. Never say nothing that I have to take back. Ah, I'm an epidemic. Like crack, I'm bringing Widow back. What you think about that? Yeah. I'm a W I E R D O. 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 I'm a weirdo that's on another level. 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 I might as well go hard in the pain till I motherfucking die, but it won't be today. Until the day I die, I'ma be weird. They won't understand. They gon' be scared. I'm popping off synapses in my brain. Was the ain't them spoon things that never been the same. I'ma do me. I'ma be a weirdo. So you do you. You can't do what I do. Uh. I'm a W I E R D O. 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 I'm
Vibes Live, your everyday place to be for free airplay. Robin Lynn, DJ Antron, Clean Cut, Spoodles, Running Down Productions, Little Haze, Not So, Coach Real, all independent artists who join us in the chat room. This song is for us, we go from the floor up. What's up? Oh, it's just another day in the chat room with Robin Lynn. Playing independent artists again, and she doing the gosh darn thing. Play it back, man, yeah. Oh, it's just another day in the chat room. Symphony, EPMD, independent artist, Mr. Bush Spoon, who's running down productions. Turn up. I get up in the morning with my 9 to 5. Hop on my computer, yo, it's You want back? You want back? New music, underground, from the ground up That's how we doing it, I got this Vibes, yo, I'll slow it down Yo, I got this Not so, holding it down Rugger real, got the thugger, so it's real Lil Hayes dropping heat from the page Ezra knocking out opponents, holy fail The challenger, bringing 808 skill DJ Antron, 24-7 whistle blown Bringing back the tracks, it's well known Call it Brian Cotcher, spitting on the microphone For the chat room, turn it up Oh, it's just another day in the chat room With Robin Lynn, playing independent artists again And she doing the gosh darn thing, play it back, man, yeah Oh, it's just another day in the chat room Symphony, EPMD, independent artist Mr. Bush Spoon, who's running down productions Turn up Game day, new exclusive. Spoodles got you going like the ladies popping prove it. Dope song, conversating in the chat room, movement. Y'all feeling what we doing? Uh, not to confuse you like a college student. Congruent to our steps to bring the union movement. Uh, baby girl on the hooks, like look what she's doing. Fuzz dog on the beats, get you into it. Hating off promoters, get your engines revving. Independent artists moving close with the stepping. Call it Willie Brown, Florida heat dropping, West Coast sound. From the ground up, you like how we round up, fight music in the house, movie soundtrack, put it in your film, talk back, guarantee you get up in the track, converse back, we got this like this. Oh, it's just another day, in the chat room, with Robin Lynn, playing independent artists again, and she doing the gosh darn thing, play it back, man, yeah. Oh, it's just another day, in the chat room, symphony, EPMD, independent artists, Mr. Bush Food, who's running down productions, turn up. So I could have finished the one I had started Stacking racks and stacking racks 
Cause I'm through this skyscraper Money on my mind I gotta get this paper Work on the scale Now watch that calculator My bank's overflowing Call it overload I ain't talking Wells Fargo Shoebox of go Interest is my boy Call it benefit I'll bet I'll show you something Easily to miss Put your limit on Call it black card. High grade. What's ten thousand? Are you a fucking retard? The How you gonna match me? That's called overkill. The money. I could turn one dollar to a hundred bills. My wallet's so high, you ain't never lie. My money sufficient funds, it will qualify. Count up, count up, count up. I will never turn down. Ten, twenty, fifty, me. That's a turnaround. Stacking racks and stacking racks, I'm building skyscrapers. Money on my mind, I gotta get this paper. Work on the scale, now watch that calculator. Ducking devils, I bet over uh-huh. cherry blossoms and all the uh-huh. Haitian girls think I'm awesome. Uh-huh. I'm going on a tantrum, the dean up on the campus. Okay. Give me your brush, I'm a prank. Mona Lisa on your canvas. Uh-huh. Anime and hip hop, visionary, we won't stop. Uh-huh. Girls like my lyrics, you cover tighter than the wristwatch. Okay. Man, you see them just watch. Uh-huh. I rock them stage like what's that? Uh-huh. Put me on the track, you see them tighten up like dreadlocks. See? Huh. You see the sun up come up if you feeling short Back that time that I took that court Got that fun so I took that torch yeah. Let them Caucasian and Asian persuasions of any yeah, sort yeah. Painting perfect pictures for my supporters in Singapore Anime and hip hop, visionary we won't stop Blow your brain with cocaine, no need to commit to detox Man, your shit is too plain, blanket and some cocaine You get no love in the winning, I call that shit some cold play I spread cold flame, shout out to my old flame Had me stressing on a daily, now I'm on that pro game Always commentating on my plays like it was post game Now I walk so hard that your ankles will never be the same Anime and hip hop, visionary, we won't stop Vision be the tension between this art and this hip hop I'm sorta like a shortstop, get between the bases Never hesitating, get to be well like it's misrelations huh? Can make it, may it, I hate it, I'll see you later I'm a ninja on the flow, something like that now we're talk I'm a leader, you follow slow, why you no spitting so cold? Cause you have no passion, now asking me gas, I'm a match I'm at We out here in the mall, Shibuya Hey, but look at, listen what they're playing for us Rapunji, Rapunji, Rapunji. Welcome to Living It Up After 50, the talk show that shares the secrets of getting older. Join our host, aging enthusiast, Cynthia Andrews, and today's guest as we explore all the wonderful, crazy, and exciting ways to live it up.
Well, good day, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hello to everyone. This is Cynthia Andrews with Living It Up After 50, and I am so excited about life. You know, we always talk about reinventing ourselves and doing going to the next level after we turn 50, and I feel like I have met so many people who are doing exactly what we've been talking about. And today we're talking about, we're talking to one of them, um, one of the most, I think, creative musicians I have ever met in my life. And I'm grateful that he's back on our show this uh, time with a new CD. We're going to be talking to Chris Jasper, formerly of the Isley Brothers and Isley Jasper Isley. But he is Chris Jasper, and he has um, soared far beyond what, they did, I think, back in the day um, with his new variety of music that he's been doing after this age and reaching every generation um, through his music. And I'm excited to talk to him today. Before we get started, I am going to play one of my new favorite songs from his CD called The One. And um, then we're going to bring him on the air, and we're going to chat about this great uh, new project that he has out. So uh, stay tuned. This is Cynthia Andrews, Living It Up After 50. We're talking to Chris Jasper, and this is called I Know That You Love Me.
I know that you love me. I know that he loves me too. And this is a great song. So we today we have Chris Jasper from formerly from the Isley Brothers and Isley's Jasper Isley. Everybody knows him. He needs no introduction. But I want to say welcome to Living It Up After 50, Chris. Oh, thanks for having me back. <laughs> Glad to be back oh. with you. Yeah, we're glad to have you back. I was so excited to see that you had a new CD coming out. I was like, oh, yeah, this is good. Because I have been playing your last one, Inspired. Mm-hmm. I play mm-hmm. that regularly. And um, and so just to – I'm shocked, I'll be honest, that you <laughs> came out with a new project so soon. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, you know, I'm just um, – you know, I used to do that all the time when I was with the group, you know. Um, have one song out, I mean, an album out every year, you know, yeah. and usually, usually it would come out every summer. So I, um, I thought I'd, you know, go back to that kind of tradition of, of, uh, you know, having material out, you know, almost every year. And, uh, it just so happened that I got a lot of ideas and I said, well, I'm going to keep going. <laughs> and if, and if it's enough for an album, I'm going to finish it. So that's kind of how that happened. Oh, I love it. You must be one of the most creative people in the world. Oh, my gosh. Because every song is different. Every Everything has a – I mean, your brain probably doesn't ever shut down, does it? No. <laughs> it keeps me up at night sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, how is your lovely wife? Oh, she's fine. She's great. You know, oh, great. She was up late working last night, hello. you know, she's, she, you know, she's right alongside of me working all the time, so um, she's great. Oh, excellent. Give her our love, and I know that she inspires a lot of what you do, and it's so and it's so excited, exciting to see a couple like you who's been married for so long, and you're still in love, and she still supports you and doing, you know, you guys are doing the thing that most of us want to do, so... Congratulations. Yeah, that's, that's a blessing. It's it certainly is a blessing, you know. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah many people, people don't have that, you know, but uh we do, so you know, we thank God. I know, and you make it public and I love that. You make yes. it public. I was watching I saw, you know, some of the photos from the congratulations on your uh lifetime achievement award, mm-hmm. your Grammy Lifetime and 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 your Hall of Fame. You yep. have been in the news. You've been doing. Tell me about that experience. That's so exciting. Yeah, the um, Lifetime Achievement Award. That was great. That was in January. Um, it was a uh, surprise to me. Uh, I just got a phone call one day, and um, someone from the Academy got on and said they had a surprise for me. And I said, okay, let me have it. <laughs> and they said, you know, <laughs> Uh, this year, you know, you got you're going to be uh, given the Lifetime Achievement Award, and uh, they wanted to know if I would I would come up, I would show up. And I would say, of course. Yeah, <laughs> just no tell me kidding. What the, just tell me what the day it is, and uh, you know, I'll be there. And so, you know, it turned out to be really great. Outstanding! What an honor. I mean, you know, I, I what I what I really value is the fact that people are going back to remember all of the folks that inspired us through our music. Um, because you guys have set a tone that people are following, and to be recognized for that is an honor. Because sometimes, you know, those who blaze the trail are often forgotten. But um, some of the some of the music that you guys have done um, have inspired people, and you can see it in their music. It's like, oh, I recognize that twang. You know, that whole guitar. Um, the things that you guys did was just different than most, mm-hmm. and you can find it in other folks' music, and that's I think that's pretty great. And I know you. Um, how many instruments do you play? Um, well, there's four. You know, <laughs> drums, uh, keyboards, guitar, and bass. Uh, yeah. So that's basically what I do. And you know, I play a lot of percussion and stuff too. But. Um, I, and that's what I wanted to sh- uh, showcase on this album, uh, the one, is uh, uh-huh. all the things that I play, and I played all the instruments that I play on this album, uh, and 
even some things that I hadn't done on record before, you know, some things that I do live, you know, vocally and um, uh, instrumentally, you know, um, I wanted to do all those things on record this time, and um, I was able to do that. Yeah, that's cool. I love the variety that you have on your CDs because you go from love, you go from Christian, you go to rock, you know, funk, all of that is mm-hmm. – and this and this it holds true to your your last CD as well, where you've got a little bit of everything for everybody. And uh, yeah, um, that's you know again that's what I wanted to show. You know, I I do the ballads, and a lot of people know me from ballads. You know, Caravan of Love and uh, Insatiable right. Woman. You know, uh, For the Love yes, of You, all favorite. those ballads. You know, uh, that's that's kind of uh, one of my signatures. But the other signature that you know. I don't know if a lot of people know how involved I was with the funk. And so right. <laughs> that's why on this album, you know, I wanted to show that, you know, because yeah. I did play I did play other instruments other than keyboards on funk on the funky songs with the Isaac Brothers and I and IJI. You know, I played yeah. bass and gu- guitar on some things, you know. Uh right. and so um I wanted to put all that stuff in there, you know, and um yeah, that's kinda cool. raise the bar, you know. Yeah. And 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 I really really like it. First of all, I have to say, so the song we just played, I know that you love me. That song, I'm sending out to my stepper community because mm-hmm. we even, you know, we step to especially on Sunday afternoons. You know, there's stepper sets going on all around the country um, on Sunday afternoons, and they always, you know, play Christian stepping music. Mm-hmm. And that one right there. As soon as I heard it, I started doing my, you know, doing my dance. And I was like, oh, this is nice. This is nice. We could step to this very easily. So don't be surprised yeah. if people start saying, oh, that's one of my favorite stepping songs. That is that is one of my favorite albums, uh, songs from the Invincible CD, you know. Um, I really, I really, it's, it's really kind of a personal uh, uh, conversation that yeah. you know um, you're, you're having with God in that song, you know what I mean, and yeah. talks about your your conversion and how that saved you. That conversion saved you from going the wrong way, down the wrong path, you know. And uh, you know that happens, you know, only the love of God, you know, through the love of God, you know, and exactly. His His love for us, you know, exactly. that that's possible. So, so, so you have um, you have sanctified you. Mhm. You have two versions of that, okay? Um, sanctified you. Know. I have like a a remastered version. A remix, yeah. Big, remix and and uh, yeah. Uh, but that's that's a very very uh good a uh, you know good song and you know addresses some things. You know, like what I what I like to do in my my gospel songs is address uh, specific issues. You know, and um. You know, reveal those issues and 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 kind of maybe shed some light on them. You know, that maybe hadn't been shed before, to see them in a different way. And uh, mm-hmm. um, the you know, the the truthful way, not the sometimes the popular way. You know what I mean? Uh, the, what the, yeah. the, the the perspective of the Bible that that perspective because sometimes that's different than popular belief. You know? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I got a um so let's let's see what do I wanna do i was i i i gotta apologize to you because I was uploading i had someone upload my stuff, and i actually they were uploading a different file for me, so i gotta in order to place the more stuff i gotta upload some stuff and i wanna um get the one on here so um well, I know Margie's listening, so if you need her to um, to send it to you right now, she can do that. Oh, okay. Well, I have I, have, I actually purchased the CD. And, okay. But if she wants to send it to me, that would be my, maybe even easier for me, and then okay. we can go ahead and play. Um, well, I know she's listening, so she'll she'll probably have it to you in a few minutes. Oh, Margie, thank you, girl. I um, <laughs> yeah, I'm just looking at this, and I'm I'm going. All the stuff that I was listening to yesterday is not on my studio here, and um, 
and so I'm going to get some stuff and uh, and get it up here. But um, so so what is so what while we're while I'm waiting on that, um, what is in your future? Hmm. Well, um, a lot of I guess a lot of things. I'm I'm going to be you know working very uh, diligently on this uh, project, uh, getting it out, promoting it. Um, I've I've done a personal appearance already uh, at the National R&B uh, Society. That was uh, maybe three weeks ago. You know, doing a couple of tracks. You know, doing track dates, stuff like that. Um, but also, I'm working on a project with my son, Michael. He's, um, you know, he had to recently go back to college. You know, this is his last year. So he kind of put a, a break in his recording. Uh, so um, we're going to finish that up, too. And probably, you know, feature some of his tracks um, before the end of the year. And, um, you know, then I might I might do some personal appearances and I'm going to keep, you know, writing music. I'm going to, you know, keep keep those ideas flowing and uh cool. like, like I always have. <laughs> yeah. So so he now he was on your last album. Did he do some producing? Yeah, well, he did some um some of the programming for 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 the percussion on on the album. Yeah, for your last. And uh which I you know, you know, I I I play percussion, but I you know, I kind of like his uh approach, you know. Uh-huh. Uh it's uh uh, you know, every musician has their own approach, and he has a nice, unique kind of approach to you know percussion and rhythms. So I like I like uh, you know for him to be involved, you know, and it, and, it, and it really it adds a little spice to you know what I'm doing. Cool. Yeah, I I, I noticed that you know when we when there's a couple of artists that have started to bring their you, their kids who are also in music into that and it mixes up the flavor you guys are able to keep your old school style but mm-hmm. yet add that new school kind of flair to it which I really um, which I really think is great because not a lot of people will want to share that spotlight mm-hmm. and um, and I, I want to say I think that's very cool that um that you're able to do that. Oh yeah. It's um great. So I'm just looking to see what's gotten uploaded yet. And um so let's see. You um I'm trying to multitask here and I just have to say Forgive me for this, but let's see. My so I have a nephew. I have a nephew, and he is also in the music business. He just he just brought his CD out. One of the things that I, I and when I was talking to him last night, and actually he was the one that was putting some of my stuff on here. And um, but when I was talking about last night, he couldn't even fathom the fact that you were going to be on my show, mm-hmm. and he was like. And he's like 30, I think he's like 36 or something like that. Mm-hmm. And and I said, he said, you mean Chris Jasper, Chris Jasper? Mm-hmm. And I said, yeah, Chris Jasper. He said, you mean from the Isley brother and Isley Jasper, Isley Chris Jasper? And I said, yeah. I said, he was on my show before. I think a lot of people don't realize how approachable you are. Mm-hmm. Um, people think, oh, no, you could never – you know, talk to here me I am with my little radio show, you know, and, and they don't even realize how approachable and how um how easy it is for you, how much you love people and are willing to take your time to chat. And that doesn't happen with every star. But what is what is the inspiration behind why why are you so open? Why are you so easy to talk to? I guess. Well, um, I have. I guess I have to attribute that to, um, you know, how I was raised. You know, my <clears throat> my mother, uh, you know, taught us that you know, you know, better than anyone else. Uh, you know, 
but you know worse than anyone else either, you know. Mm-hmm. And um, you know, and and also my relationship with God too. I mean, if if nothing else, you know, <laughs> if you realize how great God is, you will, you will that will put you in the right frame of mind. You know, you won't think of yourself any greater than what you are. And, wow. Uh, uh, I over the years, you know, my understanding has grown. And um, that's what it is. You know, people are, you know, who, who have those big heads and those big egos are really uh, kind of, uh, you know, out of out of touch with reality. You know, mm-hmm. um, that's not the way you're supposed to be. You know, and uh, all the teachings of, of Christ uh, tell us that, you know, as great as he was, you know, he... You know, he was he was willing to talk to anyone. You know, the Pharisees even yeah. complained. You know, you know, what are you doing talking to this person? You know, what are you doing talking to that person? You know, and uh, you know, he was, you know, willing to do, you know, what he had to do in order to get that message, get get that message across. And mm-hmm. um, it's just one of those things. It's I I I feel bad when I see people in that state, you know, that they can't, they don't realize that they're humans. You know, everybody's the same, basically. Mm-hmm. Uh, but what makes you different is your relationship with God. That's the thing that makes a person different. Yeah. Uh, and that's and that's the thing that God is looking for, a person that's willing to come to Him, who's humble enough to realize, you know, that they need Him. And I I realize yeah. I need God, you know, and. Uh, God blesses us through other people, and if we can't, you know, contact with other people, sometimes we can't receive His blessing. Right. So um, that's just the truth of the matter. I, I love the fact that you can walk with Christ, um, be a well-rounded artist. I won't say now that you're a secular artist. But you are an artist that plays a variety of music and writes and mm-hmm. sings a variety of music, and but yet you still have this strong conviction, and are not ashamed to share it. Mm-hmm. And um, I, I think that's a valuable a valuable trait. Well, one thing about um, the, the, the just one point about the secular and the the the, the gospel. I don't think that should be separated. Um, Good. I see that because, in your work. Because it's, it's when, when I do a song that, you know, a person wouldn't consider gospel, it's still something that you could play in church. You know, it still right. has a message to it. Right. Uh, even the song, The One, that's a song about fidelity, you know, a husband and a wife situation, you know. So um, what, whatever songs I do, I want them to be consistent with God's word. And that's what every Christian, you know, goal should be, is to be a Christian mm-hmm. all the time, <laughs> mm-hmm. not just, you know, once a week. You right. Know, all the right. time and, and whatever you do. And that's what I try to do. I try to uh, represent God's principles in everything that I do. I mean, people yeah. might categorize it, you know, as one thing or the other, but uh, it's still consistent with God's word. And when when i hear that separation um it, it, you know it, it's not really what i'm about i'm about mm-hmm. being the same all the time you know yeah so yeah. and it definitely shows in in your music in your life the way that you know the way that you talk the way that you live when we see you um you know it's it's all um you know it, it all shows that you you don't change regardless of where you are and talking about the the one, I, I have this now, and so I want to be able to play the lead um, track, the title track of your new CD called The One, and um, and then we'll be back to talk some more. This is okay. Cynthia Andrews and Chris Jasper with Living It Up After 50, and this is the title track to his new CD, The One. <laughs> There is something 
topic for a little bit because I think this is something that I, I would like to make sure that you get connected with or people get connected to your music through that because there's a lot of work going around promoting marriage, black marriage movement, marriage movement. Everybody's saying stay married, be, you know, enjoy your relationship and be committed because I think for so long, you know, we've been taught it's okay to do whatever. And um, to have music like yours that talks about, you know, staying in love, being in love, um, your last CD, you know, the thing, the songs that you inspire, all of those um, on that CD, you know, talked about love. Mm-hmm. And you can tell that your music, and in this CD, your music, it comes from your heart. Mm-hmm. And it speaks a lot to who you are and I think the world needs to know that there are men, and I think we talked about this last time, but that there are men who are committed mm-hmm. and um, men who can be in love mm-hmm. and have permission to open their heart and and be in love. We don't see a lot of that these days. Yeah. Um, yeah, you know, a lot of what you see does not reflect that that way of looking at life, you know. It's, and it's too bad because... Um, uh, a lot of problems in society, I think you can trace back to um, the home and, you know, starting with a marriage. And yeah. uh, uh, people should just realize how important that union is, you know, uh, how, how you know, it, it's, and it's, it's, it's reflective of, you know, our relationship with God, you know, mm-hmm. uh, and it says so in, in Ephesians, you know. Mm-hmm. So, um, I think that's that's what has happened over the years is the uh institution of marriage has not been given the respect it should have you know i mean um mm-hmm. for, for when when people go into it you know yeah they have to realize it's it's a, it's a it's a serious relationship and it it needs some reflection it needs some thought uh you know don't go into it lightly you know just don't you know you know spur the moment you know i i'm i'm just going to go and do this because uh, it's something that you should think about and really get to know the person uh, that that you're going to marry, and um, because, like I said, it's an important thing. Yeah, absolutely. Um, there's a show. I I haven't seen it, but I heard that there's a new show that you uh, one of those reality shows that say you meet somebody, and then um, you're supposed to get married to them in when you start the show and then they watch, they watch them through this whole thing and they've never even met each other before. So they don't have a relationship. They just <laughs> got on the show, got married, and then they're supposed to work it out from there. No. And yeah, that it's, that's crazy. But yeah, that's, you know, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, no, I'd, just, I'd say that's, that's totally, you know, the wrong approach. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know, exactly. Uh, no. I, I was like, wow. So so you have a song. Um I wanna get to Kiss Me, but you have a song called Still in Love. Yes. On on the new C D. And mm-hmm. so before, I'm gonna play that, but tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, Still in Love, um you know that again, that's talking about, you know, uh you know, a long time relationship, a long a long term relationship and long term marriage. Uh but you know, musically I wanted to start it off with um you know like one of those classical int- intros that I've done you know on a few of the songs with the group you know um because people like that that signature thing that the thing when I start off with the piano and I said well I think I'll do that again but I'll do it and you know of course a different theme uh but you know I wanted to drop it into the the typical kind of R&B Chris Jasper R&B uh sound you know after yeah. whatever so so uh you know, and I did some things, you know, vocally that I do live, maybe that I hadn't done on record before, you know. So, um, uh, this, you know, Still in Love is, is one of those things that, you know, I said, well, if I'm going to do a ballad nowadays, if I, you know, if I wanted to do a showstopper, you know, on stage, you know, uh, that's the kind of approach musically to this song. Well, we're going to listen to it right now. This is Chris Jasper, Still in Love. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
good grief. Mm-hmm. I love this CD. We are talking to Chris Jasper. This is Cynthia Andrews. If you are just tuning in, it's Cynthia Andrews of Living It Up After 50. And I have to say, Chris Jasper, the work that you are doing after the age of 50, man, is hot, hot, hot. And <laughs> well, I, was, I, 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 I love you know, I just want to tell you, I'm, I'm 25. I'm <laughs> <laughs> No, because you write like you are like a grown man. I <laughs> love this. The, those runs that you did, every time you did those in that song, I started to giggle. <laughs> Is yeah. that crazy? Hey. I said, oh, yeah, because you got that old, you know, the old Chris Jasper thing, the thing that you did back then and you brought it here. And I'm like, oh, I know that, you know, you can see a couple slow dancing, right, who's been in yeah. love forever. And yeah. yes, and you're playing. They're dancing to that. I'm like, oh, I want that. That is so good. Thank you. I am. Yeah. yeah, this is this is hot, you guys. Okay, so I need to. Um, first of all, I want all of the the marriage movement people. I think I'm going to make sure that I recommend that they get this. We have a a big ball that's coming up in. Uh, November called the Fall Ball, and it's for the Black Marriage Movement um, mm-hmm. here in the Seattle area. And I'm going to make sure that they get this CD, um, whoever is DJing, because this is what this is what's up right here, uh, especially when it comes to love and and grown folks love. But it also helps to inspire the young couples, I think, mm-hmm. to keep it going. Because when they hear music like this, it makes you fall in love all over again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I mean, that's, a, that's that's right. That's true. And it just reflects who you are. You know, I, I just I just love it. So 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 you have a song on here called "Man Up." Yes. Yes. Um, "Man Up" is, uh, of course, about you know uh, a person you know doing some reflection. You know, uh, in the bridge it says, take a look into the mirror, right into your eyes, and uh, find the man you ought to be inside, you know. Uh, It's about personal reflection and being the best you can possibly be, you know. Yeah. And facing your responsibilities, not backing away, you know. Yeah. Uh, And uh, it's also a double meaning, too, uh, man up as far as musically, (laughs) you know, because it's pretty funky. And... uh, and it's also saying, you know, if you got if you got any funk in you, you know, man up and you know, step up and you know, show and what you got. <laughs> okay, okay. And we've been playing a lot of ballads, so I, I want to I want to let's get into some funk and uh, the next yeah. couple songs. Let's go out with some some real um, Chris Jasper that we remember, uh, the new and the old. This is called Man Up. And you can find before we before we do this, you can find this CD if you want to download it right now. Go to Amazon.com. Where else can we get it, Chris? Uh, CD Baby, uh, iTunes, um, and, and the physical CD is is available too. So you go to CD Baby and Amazon for the physical CD. Oh, and remind me to talk about. I saw on your site that you are doing autograph CDs. Yes, uh, for the month so, of October. Uh, if you go to you know the Gold City Amazon store. Uh, I'll autograph the CD if you order it through there. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, we'll be back. This is called Man Up.
Man. Chris, yeah. you have your own sound. Nobody can steal that away from you. <laughs> yeah. That is that is your I mean, when you hear it, you know where it came from, right? Mhm. Yeah, that, and, you know, like I, mean, I said, on a lot of the funk songs, you know, um, you know, a lot of that stuff, you know, some is Ernie, you know, but a lot of it is yeah. me too. You know, a lot of yeah. it is me. You know, I'm playing the bottom, I'm, you know, the bass, and the, I'm playing guitars and that stuff, and you know, that's that's me, man. You know. That's so cool. I, I so love the fact that you were able to, um, you know, you're able to hold on to that and share that with us today. I love that. That is like something that I would sit back and you could exercise. You know, I mean, there's like certain music mm-hmm. that you use for certain things, right? And that would be one that I would get out on the street and get my run on, and mm-hmm. that would keep me going. But it's also one that you can sit back and listen to and just get into every every string, every instrument that you're playing. I, I, it looks like we have a caller and I'm going to take this call because this is a good friend of mine. I know he has. He wants to say hello. Okay. Hold on one second. This is Cynthia, living it up after 50. We're talking to Chris Jasper today and listening to his music. Well, you pulled the slam dunk today, Cynthia. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you very much. This is actually... Uh, this is... Because, I, you know, I, did, I was trying to keep track of your show. Uh... Well, hello to your guest. It's Sir, I have spent, I'm 57 now. I spent a lot of hours in the basement, in many basements, and dorm rooms, and in the car, in the 70s and 80s, listening uh, listening to the Osley Brothers. Right. So thank you for the music. All right. Yes. The music is hot, and it continues, and it continues, and it continues. And I'm very grateful to have uh, Mr. Chris Jasper on the air today and sharing this new CD. Um, anybody who needs to find this CD, please, you can find it on Amazon, CD Baby, iTunes. Um, where else, Chris? I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, iTunes, CD Baby, and uh, uh, Amazon. Uh, Gold City Amazon store. If you buy it from there, uh, I'll I'll sign it too. Um, there's a special. Uh, if you go on um, Soul Tracks, there's a special uh, icon that you can hit, and uh, it'll show you right where to go to to get the autograph CD too. Okay, I'm gonna try to find it, and if so, then I will post it on on my Facebook page, and um, and on my website so folks can can get it because. Everybody needs an autograph from Chris Jasper. Um, your music is timeless. Um, I'm so honored that you are are here to share and to share your gift with us. And two in in two years, two CDs in two years. Um, that's crazy for one person. And I don't know how many creative people there are, but you are one of the most creative people that I know and um and I just want to thank you for coming on and sharing um sharing your life with us. I'm going to actually stick on the air since I have LA on here. We're going to talk a little more and play a few more tracks if you don't mind, Chris. Oh, no, no. And uh cuz there's a there's a couple that I want to hear and I keep talking about this song Kiss Me and so I want to play that and then we're going to just stay on a little bit longer today. And because um, I want people to just hear, but don't just hear. I want you to go purchase this CD and share it with your friends because there's so much more to music these days than than, than just um, you know downloading one or two songs. This is actually one song that you can purchase the entire CD and enjoy. Most people will purchase a CD for one song, but mm-hmm. You can purchase this CD for every song that's on there, and you will enjoy. And um, you don't find too many like that. But this is one that you can trust, that it's a great, the whole thing is great. So um, what's, what's your favorite song on the CD, Kurt? Oh, I don't, I don't know. 
<laughs> I, you know, I, I, I kind of like all of them because, um, you know, uh, like you were alluding to before, you know, they have their own character, uh, yeah. and their own subject matter. And, you know, um, I like all of them for what they are. Uh, and, and that's, yeah. that's the kind of concept I, I had when I was writing uh, the songs in the album. I wanted each song to have its own character and its own message, you know, and, um, I, I like this is my favorite album that I've done. I have to say that. Is it? Uh, yeah, because uh, of the diversity in it, and because of the things I played on it as a musician and mm-hmm. as a vocalist. You know what I mean? That mm-hmm. all those things combined make it my favorite album. Nice. So, how many solo, solo albums have you done? Uh, this is eleven. This oh, is number eleven. Good, good. I started off with Super Bad, you know, that was my first one. You know, which right. I, you know, this, that's one of my favorite ones too, because it's the first one, you know, I had a number one single from it and everything. So uh that's that would always be one of my favorites. But uh I think this one is a step up from that one even. Great. Now you have a you have a, a, a website. Yes. Uh ChrisJasper dot com. And uh, if there's any doubt on where to find the CDs, you know, you can go to chrisjasper.com because everything's on there, too. You can go to all Great. the music stores right from chrisjasper.com. My calendar's on there, interviews, discography, you know, bio information. Everything is on uh, chrisjasper.com. Great. And I have to always say, I have to always say, you look the same. I always have to say that because every time I see a new <laughs> photo of you, I'm like, he hasn't changed, except for you know the hair is just a little bit yeah. different, right? Yeah. You know, because uh-huh. we, as we, you know, we gotta, you know, keep it together. But, yeah. But that, um, but your face, your style has not changed from, um, back in the day. You have always been the heartthrob <laughs> of the, you know, you were the heartthrob of the Isley Brothers when we were coming up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we saw you guys in concert, and everybody was like, Chris Jasper. Part of it was because you didn't wear a shirt. But, you know, it was just you were the heartthrob. And so for you to continue that. But the thing about what I love about you is that you were the heartthrob, but you, um, your values, I mean, you you were never in a scandal, mm-hmm. and which yeah. is, you know, which is rare for many yeah. um you know artists but you were never we never saw you in the news in a bad light um you've been married forever um you're you know you've always put your wife in the forefront but your life you know your life throughout not just um not just today but back then still um you know is is has been positive throughout your whole career and uh and so I, I I want to say thank you for that because it oftentimes renews our faith as women in men. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, it's like, you know, I, I got I, I to I speak was, truth, man. Yeah, that's that's true. I mean, I, I was I was very fortunate, you know, to uh, and and I and I've, I I consider myself blessed to have met my wife, you know, uh, mm-hmm. when I did, you know, because that, you know, she, that helped ground me, you know, and and and, and keep me keep me straight, you know. Uh, right. So um, that that was a huge blessing, you know. You know, along with you know the revelation that, that God has given me. Um, yeah. And uh, that's that's kind of <laughs> what happened, you know. That's cool. That's very cool because that means you could be cute and still serve God and walk upright and you know still be a heartthrob. So that's well. a beautiful thing. LA, do you have any questions? I'm about no, to play I'm just, another I'm just still digesting. I'm I'm on the I'm listening. I'm on the phone with a basically an icon. Like I said, yeah, I, you are. I don't know how many hours in the basement. Cars, <laughs> eight eight track tapes. They only exist no more. Listening to yeah. the Isley Brothers, reading album notes mm-hmm. uh, from back in the day, and guitar solos and all, all that. So I'm just exactly. taking this in. <laughs> Headbands and fringe. Yeah, because <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, so, uh, I grew up, I grew up in Washington D.C., so the, the, it was the Capitol Center there. Oh yeah, a pretty large arena. Yeah, and you know if yeah. you waited too long, they were sold out. Couldn't go see them. Yep. Oh yeah. I remember oh, the yeah. Capitol Center. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. 
Absolutely. 2,500 seated. Absolutely. I remember that very well. It's amazing. And so so what about the song Right Now? Yeah, Right Now. That's um, That song is, uh, I wanted to, you know, kind of go back to some things that uh, uh, we used to play a long time ago. Uh, it was kind of the, you know, it, it had elements of jazz in it, in the chords, you know, uh, but also it was had elements of pop in it musically. Uh, but then again, you know, lyrically, I wanted to touch on, um, you know, some of the issues that are going on today, you know, mm-hmm. uh, situations that need correction, you know, that, that mm-hmm. but only probably only could be corrected with the return of Christ. And mm. uh, and then the song is really a plea to him, a plea to uh-huh. God that, you know, um, you know, is is saying that I know you're coming back one day, you know. Uh, I'll do all I can to keep the faith. I know you're coming back one day, but we need you so, you know, right now. Uh wow. because these these issues you now need to be addressed and uh wow. that's what it is. It's a plea it's a plea to God, you know, uh that we you need know, like to like heal the land. Yeah. Yeah. And what about what's going on? What's going on? That's the uh you know, that's the, the, the cover of uh that that classic song that Marvin Gaye did. Marvin Gaye was a, right. a huge influence on me, you know, one of my favorite of all time. Uh, and um, I thought it would fit well on this album, you know, what what's going on is saying is, is relevant today. Um, mm-hmm. And um, I thought I'd put my treatment to it, you know, with the keyboards and all. Uh, yeah. And, and uh, after I did it, I sent it to uh, his wife, uh, Janice, and... Uh, she said, "You know, I'm a I'm a hard critic, you know, of people who do covers of Marvin, you know." Um, mhm. Mm-hmm. And um he said, "But Chris, you know, this is fantastic. I love it, you know. Uh, you know, you did it justice and, you know, uh let me know when you're coming into the area, <laughs> you know. <laughs> nice. He wants to come to the show, you know. So it was it was yeah. really great getting that, you know. And 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 Marvin Gaye the third liked it too. He 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 really, Kitty. you know. Yeah. Cool. So, uh, cool. you know, it, it was just one of those things. I, I always loved that album that he did, you know, what's going on, and I thought it would be great to do that as a tribute to him. Oh, well, let, let's play that before we go off the air. I want to know if you're going to be going on tour. We don't, you know, we need you in the Pacific Northwest. Yeah, and, uh, I want to I do that. I, you know, um, the more... Uh, I promote this album, you know, more. I like people to be familiar with the songs that I'm getting ready to do, you know. Uh, yeah. When I do a live performance. So uh, it's going to take a little bit more promotion. But, uh, you know, we're busy doing that and we, you know, uh, spending late hours doing that. So uh, uh, yeah. once, yeah. once we are, get it out working. there uh, and, and, and people are, you know, seeing it and you know, they're hearing it on the radio, and then, then they're going to go out and do some touring. I got to get my yeah. band back together and uh, maybe yeah. add, some, yeah. add some new elements in there. <laughs> okay. All but, right. Uh, and and you have a song called Love Me Tonight. Uh, what was that? Love Me Tonight. On, on this album, uh, you mean uh, um, Your Love. That's, um, that's, an, that's an album. Oh, my song on the album. I'm sorry. Uh, Your Love is yeah, another that's ballad. What it is. Uh, yeah. That's a. Uh, and. And then bring it on back. Oh yeah, bring it on back. Yeah, bring it on back. Uh, that's that's you know I wanted to do a song you know that uh, you know talked about you know bringing back that good music you know uh, the good melodies and uh, you know it's it's kind of a lyrically it's kind of a, a history of R and B you know a brief a brief history uh, tells a little bit about R and B and where it came from you know it's born in the USA you know and uh, it takes you takes you through it. You know, takes you through some of the things that were going on. You know, the parties in the in the basement. You know, the with the lights down low. Uh, you know, okay. the soul train, the soul train line. You know, talks about that. You know, uh, oh. and I, I, oh, I we should play that one next. Oh yeah, so it, you know, this one, the our, our friends over in England uh, jump right on this one. You know, is that right? Because, yeah, because you know it's funky. You know, and it's also got you know, it's like a funky ballad actually. You know, the way I sang it. You know, 
uh, and uh, you know it has all that history in it. So uh, it's, it's one that you know because they love that over in uh, England. You know the history of uh, music. They they're really into mm-hmm. that kind of stuff. So. Uh, okay. Well, let's dedicate this song to Mr. L. A. Davis, who's on the air with us, and remembering all the parties in the basement. And, yeah. uh, <laughs> and Soul Train Line. And yeah. Soul Train Line. So yeah. this is Bring It On Back. This is um, on Chris Jasper's new album, The One. And we'll be right back in just a few minutes. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. That's it.
All right. So that is my new. I have to say this, <laughs> and I am taking this one to our our steppers uh, pink party this weekend. I'm giving it to the the DJ myself and telling her to make sure she plays that. We can step to that all day. <laughs> yeah. We can, bring it on that, back. That's a great one. Yeah. Yeah. You know. I, it, it it just this album when I was doing it and and I, and I said this in other interviews it just felt you know uh, very very good you know every song I was doing it just felt very good and um, I'm just so happy with it you know yeah you should be every one I like every song I like and um, and I think that you have something that's a little bit of something for everybody. But a lot of something for music lovers because every music lover will love all of it. And uh, that's what I'm getting. That's that what I'm getting. Out. Yeah. Yeah. It's hot. It's hot. And so I um we're gonna have to get off the air here in a few minutes, but kiss me. Yes. Talk kiss to me. me. I'm I'm, I'm so excited. I want to hear that. I all right. Play that for everybody. So kiss me. That was uh, why'd you write that? Um, you know um, what what happened was when I uh, we were on our anniversary, our thirtieth anniversary, and um, uh-huh. um, Margie, uh, you know, got me this guitar. She bought me a guitar, and um, I, you know, I was stringing it and tuning it, you know, and uh, I was up in the suite, you know, and. Um, and I just started playing, you know, and, and I came up with the chords, you know, to the song, you know, and and and, and uh-huh. I, actually the chord and the and the hook, you know, I said this is gonna, you know, turn into something pretty nice, and so I kind of wrote the lyrics, you know, uh, you know, about her, you know, like uh, to her, you know. Of course. So that's that's what this song is is about, you know. It can't, that's how it came about. That's cool. That that you know, I I, I have to say, you know, there are people who work at writing music and there are people who can just write music from just anything and for a moment you know while you're playing around with your wife and all of a sudden it becomes a song and yeah. it becomes an anthem for many people I think is, is a gift that it's only a gift that you can get from God so, yeah, I, believe, um, I believe songwriting is a gift too yeah oh yeah yeah, because I, I don't know how many, I mean, I, there are lots of songwriters out there, but I don't know. To be able to put something like this out in a year is uh, <clears throat> is pretty incredible. So we are about to wind down. We have been talking to Chris Jasper, um, formerly of Isley, Jasper Isley, and the Isley Brothers, the uh, the strong point behind a lot of the music that they have made, um, lyrics, lyrics as well as um, instruments and arrangements and production and all of that stuff. This man is a genius and he is still doing following his dream and his passion after 50 and that's what we're all about is making sure that people are inspired to follow their dream. It's never too late. It's only the beginning and um, Chris, you have definitely given us um, some inspiration that we too can follow our dreams, and it only just begins after fifty. I think you're going to be bigger now than you were back then, you know. And your Hall of Fame <clears throat> award, the next one, is going to be even more huge because you're touching even more people than you did before. And um, I just want to say thank you for the music, man. Well, you know, it's something that I I love to do. I was from a young age, you know, <clears throat> I learned how to play the, uh, piano and read piano music and uh, study with a professor, and th- that kind of started me on my songwriting journey um, when I was about seven years old. So it's something I've done all my life, and, uh, you know, I'm just going to continue to do. When I have ideas, <laughs> I'm going to keep it going. <laughs> yeah, do, because we are loving it, and we get to reap the benefits of all of that. And um, plus we get a share in your relationship with you and your lovely one. And um, 
and not everybody's willing to open their hearts and their lives up to us like that. So yeah. you're 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 doing it, and uh, I just want to say thank you. Um, we're about to wind down here, but I gotta play this uh, this song to you before we go, and we're gonna kind of lead out with that song. And I just want to say thank you again for joining us, and hopefully you will be back. Um, yes. You were with us last year when you when um, Inspired came out, and you're back with us this year with The One. And I'm si- excited to see what you're going to have next year. <laughs> well, you know, I think this one – this one may have a little longer legs, you know. This might be okay. out for a little while. So <laughs> Yeah, I think I don't know. so too. Yeah. Yeah. So um you know, when whenever it's right to drop the next one, that's when I'll do it. <laughs> okay. Excellent. Excellent. I think that you're doing an amazing job. Thank you for giving us hope. Thank you for sharing your values and um and your relationship with Christ. And oh, yes. helping others to do um, to do the same. There's, you know, sometimes in in situations where our country is right now, we sometimes lose hope. And um, I think that it's great that you are able to help us um, continue to move forward, and uh, and know that you know that there's hope in the world, and and there's there's God, and um, and we can't do without that. And so, right. you know, well, it's, it's thank you too. Awesome. Thank you for having me on, and uh, I'll, I'll I'll be happy to come back. I would love for you to come back. I would love it. And um, please keep us updated on where you're going to be. Um, everyone, log on to chrisjasper.com. Um, he is an amazing man, artist, um, and we just have to stay in touch. And so, and, and he's on Facebook. <laughs> yes, I'm on Facebook, so yeah, you can hit me that way too. Um, Excellent. Excellent. Uh, Cynthia. Excellent. Yes. Yeah, I got a question for Chris, real quick. Uh, I've okay. had about within the last month about six mayors either in office or running for office. Uh, is he available to do? I mean, for hire. In other words, we hire him to come in and do a private gig where we use it as a fundraiser, that type of thing. Uh, what, what would I do that? Yeah, I mean, do you do private engagements? Uh, I I haven't done that before. I mean, um, uh, like I said, I'm you know I'm I'm not ready to do a concert yet. You know right. what I mean? Uh, because uh, I haven't you know rehearsed you know a banner and all that kind of stuff. But uh, I do do like um, you know what they call track dates. You know, I'll, I'll come and do a tr- you know some tracks you know and sing to them. Stuff like that. Uh, I, I did that like a few weeks ago, in Atlantic City. Okay. Um, so um, those those kind of appearances, I'm I'm gonna do until I start going out and doing concerts. You know? I see. Okay. Well, I'll I'll keep in touch with Cynthia on that. Yeah. 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 So that might be a yes. And 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 you know, you're. Uh, I'm gonna say this. I'm just speaking for every um, artist. I think that. You know, when you're when you're doing the things that with the, with politics, you wanna always make sure that their values line up with yours. Yeah. Because uh, you never know who's out there doing the thing. That's I was true. just at a fundraiser yesterday with um, Vice President Joe Biden um, was here in Seattle, raise helping to raise money for um, one of our senators, uh, Maria Cantwell. There's a lot of uh, female senators that are um, up for re-election. And um, so there's lots of fundraisers out there. And But I, I always, you know, I, I won't put my money anywhere that I don't believe that they're, they are doing the right thing. And so um, that's just yeah, that's, my political that's the thing. plug right yeah. there. That's the but, thing. That's, um, that's the funny thing about politics, you know, but uh, – uh, I I usually, you know, stay away from politics as much as I can, <laughs> <laughs> you know, because of that. Uh, you know, there's, you know, I, I'm, uh, like the Bible says, my citizenship is from is from above. Yeah. Uh, and I, I tend to, uh, you know, live try to live God's way and His principles. So yeah, it, it would have to line up with that, you know. 
Exactly. And I know L.A., and I know that he, you know, he won't, wouldn't support any of that. Um, yeah. That so, was I mean, uh, these, um, on these the mayors, uh, a couple of these mayors were basically from historical black towns that were, mm-hmm. these towns were started by ex-slaves. Right after slavery was abolished, they moved out west. Mm-hmm. So without bank finance, without government aid, they built their own township. Mm-hmm. And some of those towns are still available today. I mean, still exist today. That's amazing. So yeah. That's, that's, that's the market we're dealing with. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. LA's doing a lot of great work. LA, why don't you, before we go off the air, why don't you give yourself a plug for your show and uh, it, it's all the you guys <clears throat> it, It's my house, and it's on Monday through Friday. Um, uh, the number is uh, 619-768-2945. But I'd like to say I'm still I'm in icon mode right now, so. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. Isn't that amazing? People, I was just saying that my nephew was shocked that I would actually have the Chris Jasper on my show. He said, you, Auntie, you know, little old me, <laughs> would have such, such, a, such a, a great star, not just a star, but a, a, a human being you know, who's sharing with the world. And so I'm honored. I am honored again this year to have you on my show. And um, we will make sure that we do all that we can to get this music out to our part of the world. And I trust mm-hmm. that others will do the same. This music is is um, is for sharing, and it brings hope. Like I said, brings hope to the world and to relationships. And so... Um, every day that I listen to your music, I want to be more and more, I want to have more and more of what that is, which is, you know, uh, a great, solid, loving relationship. And so you, you have definitely brought back that, um, which we have sometimes somehow lost. And wow. so, uh, that's quite an endorsement. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> thank, thank you again. Thank you again. So this is Cynthia Andrews. We are going off the air. Now, and uh, but we will be back next week. We've got some great uh, folks coming on. Actually, have a, a one of our politicians that will be on the air in the next in the next week or two. Um, but uh, there's a lot of good things going on in our country, and I want people to to focus on that as well as we tend to always look at the bad. But there's some great things happening, and some great people who are standing in leadership for us, and. Um, And so I want to highlight those folks. But anyway, this is Cynthia Andrews with Living It Up After 50. I'm going to play a little bit of this song because I said I want to play it. This is called Kiss Me, Chris Jasper. this song you got to get the album uh the one by chris jasper this is cynthia andrews with living it up after 50 we are going off the air but we will be back next time have a great day have a great week remember you are the echo of your past or the glory of your future you make that choice it's never too late we are our lives are just beginning after the age of 50 have a great one You've been listening to Living It Up After 50 with Cynthia Andrews on Blog Talk Radio. Join us every Friday at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, or visit our website at Living It Up After 50. Thank you.
I know what you're thinking. Man, when this nigga gonna stop making mixtapes? The answer ooh, to that question ooh, is... Ooh, no. West, 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 West. Game Chaffer, G-I-F, Mad Cow. See, I ain't from the bottom, now I'm riding in the Audi and I'm stunning for the honeys to see. For the honeys to see. Now I'm riding downtown and I'm pressing all these buttons cause I know that it's the place to be. You know I gotta swerve. I gotta swerve on them one time for my city, east side, west side, uptown. Oh, I gotta swerve. Tan yard, yeah, we get it all. From the dirt, and I ain't tripping all them haters by their gear. I got a swerve. Man, you see my girl, she in that passenger. That new bitch in the club, you know I'm at. I got a swerve. I'm swerving, smoking loud, and serving all these packs. I keep it presidential, collecting all these packs. You know I'm on a mission in the kitchen, steady whipping. What the fuck you waiting on? Man, them birds are steady flipping. You see, I grind for real. And you not likely I fucks with everybody Putting them on like a Spike Lee All that bass watching strippers dance by the sight me All the mall fossil down like my shoes and whitey And when I cry I just do it like the worst for Nike My ride pimp the wheels brighter than the sight of lightning All white everything like you got it Swerving lane to lane like I just caught a body And all you niggas hating you don't know shit about me You get the middle finger while my bank account climbing Network, nigga what's your network? I'm one of the hottest underground artists you gon' respect first Years worth, I got ten years worth And I'ma keep giving you all of this music until your ears hurt I'm on that purple lean, that drink clean Ain't nothing clean in my system My eyes low, damn near close I swear so hard, I'm drippin' I know that I'm purple lean, that drink clean Ain't nothing clean in my system My eyes low, damn near close I swear so hard, I'm drippin' I gotta swerve, I gotta swerve on them one time for my city That new bitch in the club, you know I'm at I gotta swerve. I'm swerving, smoking loud, and serving all these packs. I keep it presidential, collecting no. all these packs. We're rewarding you for something you already do. Listening to us. It's Radio Loyalty, and it's an easy way for you to get free stuff. All you do is sign up. Go ahead and click the banner now. You'll earn points as you listen. Points you can trade in for great products and services in the Radio Loyalty store. You can earn even more points when you share your favorite station with friends on Facebook and Twitter. Radio Loyalty. It's free to sign up. So click the banner to join now. Vibes live. It's hot and Let's do the dance of 
sunrise. 